hi guys and welcome back to my channel today we are talking Givenchy and I want to try the Prisme Libre um, it's a number four medium complexion loose powder to see how it works so I'm just gonna first put on I'm I'm loving this guy so far <laughs> this Dior it's so good it's so good um and then we'll talk about the uh powder but as you guys know i think i told you this that the laura mercier powder um for some reason is just a bit drying on my skin now uh i think it's because possibly which is okay uh it's kind of like your hair things change something that can be your holy grail for a while which laura mercier wasn't my holy grail but it did work for me just like other powders did but now it's just a little bit drying for me so let's talk about it it is an illuminating and color correcting loose powder and it comes in uh, many radiant finishes. It is best for oily, combo, or normal skin. Okay, I have combination skin, so they don't recommend this for dry skin. It's long wearing, loose powder formula, light coverage, and I like that it's a radiant finish. It says this powder can be used alone to even out the complexion as a setting powder to lock in foundation or as the last step in your routine to finish your makeup look. Apply, apply lightly with the puff provided for an even and precise application or with a brush for all over perfected look. Oh, okay, for puff application, twist off the cap and hold the puff over the opening, shake the powder twice, stamp the powder on the cheekbones, side of nose, forehead and chin. Diffuse the power by blending out with the puff to create an even, flawless complexion. Okay, stamp on cheekbones, sides of nose, forehead, and chin. Brush application, dispense a small amount of powder onto the lid, swirl a large fluffy brush into the product. Check, tap off excess product, lightly buff into skin, repeat as needed. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Um... I can open it oh this retails guys for $60 and you get 0.4 ounces but I got it in the mini size where I get 0.14 ounces for $31 to see if I like it and the packaging is cute it's if I'm gonna be honest for Givenchy it's it looks a bit on the cheaper side um, so yeah, it's it's real plasticky, like the thin type of cheaper plastic. I think they could have used just a little nicer packaging. Maybe the non-mini size one comes nicer. <laughs> okay, so I have the foundation on, and this is the puff they provide for the mini one. I'm sure it's bigger for the larger one. Let me take off the plastic to open it. Okay. Oh, I don't want to get that on my computer. <sighs> um, all right. <laughs> and let's see. So we have like a purple, green, and can you see that? I don't think it's. Let me pull it back there you go but it's a purple a green and two lighter like nude colors um okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a brush and oh i guess i should tap it into the lid they said so they said with the brush do dispense a small amount on the lid Okay, how about I just shake it up and maybe <laughs> it'll come out. It's one of those things when you're doing dealing with minis, 
You get what you get. Okay, there we go. This is all mixed up. There we go, so you can see. Okay, I'm gonna tap some of this into here. Ooh, I tapped quite a bit. That's okay. Swirl the brush in there a little bit. That's a lot. I'm gonna tap excess off. Go over here, tap excess. It's a lot of excess I have on here, but that's okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna start in the middle because that's where I get the oiliest. Let's start blending this out a bit. Oh, okay. It's definitely radiant. I didn't put any eyebrows on today. Um, let's see, do you see the radiance of it? I can see it. That's really pretty. This is finely milled, guys. Like, let me put this, let me show you, like right here, like let me do it right here. Let me show you how. That's like, it's really soft. It's really soft. I'm just gonna, see that? And it just goes right into the skin. It's really finely milled. Okay, so I'm going to see if that, if this, uh, how this looks all day, and I will get back to you. Yeah, okay. But it's pretty, the radiance of it, it's, I like a radiant finish, guys. I'm not big on matte finishes. I love a nice glow. So I hope that helps some of you guys who are looking at this and we'll see how it turns out. And now come back on here and give you an update. All right, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Yeah, this is pretty. I like it. It's purplish. But, or bluish. Did I get all of it or did I only get some of it? I don't know. Hopefully it all mixed together in some way or the other. Hi guys, so this is the powder eight hours after I put it on. My face is oily. <laughs> Maybe um, it, here's the deal. Is it overly oily? No. However, remember the powder is also a radiant powder. So my face actually still does look glowy. However, if I do something like this, yes, it comes off on my hand a bit. I don't know if you can see that, which any powder or anything would come off on your hand, but it doesn't change a lot, but I'm still radiant and I do like the powder, it's pretty, but it is a radiant powder. So it's interesting because I'm not used to, I'm looking for, oh, I'm not oily at all, but with the radiance, it can be deceiving that you're oily and you're not overly oily. It's just the powder being radiant. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys see this as being radiant or me just being oily after eight hours. And you can tell me in the comments. <laughs>